Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to set up Fire RTC for Android use. Um, I had a few people want to know how to set it up for Android, and um, so we're going to go over to this process. So basically, uh, for Fire RTC, I use this app right here called, called Firefox, and you can find it at the Play Store, which is right here. So, I'm going to open up Google Play. And we're going to type in Yeah, you can really choose any of these Firefoxes, but this is the main one that I use. And then there would be an install button right where the open symbol is. And then we'll go here after it's installed. address bar but since I already got it here throw it into the search bar Now, if you don't have an account with RTC, you would click there, and then this would be the information that it basically tell you to fill out. Which would be a valid email address, a username, and then password confirmation. Close it out real quick. Because I'll show you the interface also. Alright. I just had to pause the recording to. Well, then right click. As soon as you log in, it will show this basically. Sign in successfully. Now, Fire RTC can be terminal on tablets, and especially on my Galloway Pro. I'll get the pronunciation right in a sec eventually. Every time I exit Firefox, I would have to refresh twice to get the microphone running again. See, there's the microphone letting you know the microphone's active right now. And then basically, to set up a number, you would tap here, tap on settings. Now, for tablets, depending on what tablet you have, you wouldn't have to put this in a desktop mode. Which could be right here. You wouldn't have to check that. For my tablet, I wouldn't have to, but for, say, like my Moto E4 or any type of phone for that matter, you'd have to have it in a desktop mode to access this right here. And then you would use the virtual keyboard enter instead of hitting that to save the number. So it's tricky on doing it on Android, but you can basically get it done. And then to do a test call, once you have it all set up, it would be tap this and then tap that. And then this would automatically go for it. So, if you have any questions, leave 
your comment in the description below. And also, if you want to get numbers where you can spoof for that, this site right here is what I use to pull up all the fake information. But other than that, that's basically going to conclude this tutorial. Any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I should be able to get back with you on how to set that up. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.